Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. As a follow up to the Among Us custom live wallpaper and home screen setups, which I brought you earlier in the week, I thought I'd share with you guys how you can create your own simple Among Us live wallpaper of your own. But before we jump right into it, make sure to like and subscribe to get more Android tips, tricks and customization videos. So with this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make this basic live wallpaper yourself and using everything I'm showing here, you can even recreate two of my own Among Us live wallpapers. And for those of you who want to take things even further, I've also included a few bonus tips. So for this tutorial, you're going to need the app KineMaster and the Among Us starter pack which are both linked in the description below. And within the pack, I've made sure to include two different backgrounds for you guys to use. Now simply open a new project in KineMaster and start by first loading in one of the two space backgrounds. Once done, you should see it here within the timeline section. And because it was added using the media button, KineMaster will automatically assign it to the main track slot. And as a quick note, anything on the main track actually determines the length of the overall project. So that means that anything that goes beyond the main track footage will not be visible. Now let's add in the Among Us character from the starter pack. This time using the layer option to add it to its own timeline track. And as a side note, to extend or shorten the length of a track, simply use the handles which appear when you select the footage. Now before we start animating the character, let's add in one more layer, this time for text. Just simply type any phrase that you want to use here. And if you want to change the way it looks, just check out the font settings. Next, let's add in some text animation. Here, for this example, I'll be using incoming animations. But there's also the option for continuous and outgoing animations. So make sure you check them out. So within the in animations, simply select wipe right. Doing so will bring up the speed wheel, which you can use to adjust the duration of the effect. Bear in mind, the longer the clip, the slower you can make the animations. Now that we have that out of the way, let's focus on the character. Starting with cropping out all of that blank space around. Just simply drag in the corners as I'm showing here. Now let's make our character move. For this, we're going to be using keyframes, adjusting the character's path and rotation as he moves across the screen. Just use the controls here to add and remove the keyframes from the timeline. Now simply use this feature to line up the character with the text animation. So as he flies across the screen, the letters are appearing right over him. And as you're doing this, don't forget to adjust his rotation with every keyframe. And once you get to a point you're happy with, let's finish things off by simply moving the character in front of the text. Now that we're done, just simply render your creation and head over to my very own wallpaper app. Here, just head into the live section and from your gallery, just select your newly created live wallpaper. Now as a final tip, using KineMaster and keyframes, you can also play around with character sizes to add some 3D elements to your creations. And if you want to take things even further, try taking the character image straight into Pixart. There, you'll be able to easily change the color and have multiple crew members floating in space. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.